It's special because it's the 30th anniversary of Arlington Public Art and it all started right here. We are sitting on the uh, northern side of Dark Star Park, which is a project that was created uh, between 1979 and 1984. Nancy Holt was hired to create a work of art. Uh, she asked if she could design the entire uh, setting for her work of art, which became a public park. I first came here and saw the site in 1979. I realized that if I could get the commission to do the whole park, that uh, I could turn the whole park into a work of art. It would be very difficult to uh, just place a sculpture in uh, this size space after someone else had designed the space. So that um, I asked to uh, have the total commission to be able to design the whole park and then I also wanted to use this traffic island that's over here. So I got permission from the state to use that. That's not county property. It's my understanding that it was some forward-thinking, visionary planning commission members and members of the Arlington County planning staff who wanted to have an art project in what was a pretty forlorn part of the county, which is now, of course, our densest commercial district. But at, at the time, in the mid to late 70s, when this project uh, started to take shape, was, was a, a place that was in need of reinvention. It introduced the idea that an artist could be involved on a design team and could be involved from the beginning of a project. So that artists are not just creating objects that come in afterwards. Artists are part of the thinking of the creation of the entire facility, be it a building, a park, or a piece of infrastructure. I think Nancy's decision to push what she was invited to do here really set us down a distinctive path in Arlington. It set a bar for excellence. People were excited to do more, to see more public art, especially in Roslyn. I think it gave us um, uh, something to aspire to in subsequent projects. People were imagining what could happen here in its proximity to DC. The metro, of course, uh, had already been built, and people were starting to realize that uh, a certain amount of density should be invited um, and tolerated and encouraged. And then with density comes urbanness, and with urbanness comes art. I think, too, uh, it encouraged the development community to be patrons of public art. There are a significant number of developers who have basically taken a leadership role in terms of including public art in their projects. And they see that public art can benefit what they uh, are bringing to Arlington, see it as something that enriches their, their projects, their portfolios, that sets them apart somewhat. It took actually the county 16 years to catch up with what we were asking of the development community. Uh, it wasn't until uh, 2000 that the county board adopted a public art policy which encouraged the county itself to be a patron of public art. I think what is significant though about the county approving a public art policy was that it set standards, it set a plan and guidelines, and it hired professional staff to oversee this community benefit negotiation. The community of Arlington has thoroughly embraced 
uh, our efforts. And I think that 30 years of public art in Arlington has uh, created a strong commitment to great civic facilities and good civic design. And I believe that we've been able to encourage others throughout the county to think about the design of their projects at the outset because um, that's the inexpensive part. Uh, that's the part that just takes a little foresight and a little tolerance along the way. Um, but it results, I think, in, in a really distinctive project and collectively as a distinctive uh, place to live, work, and play, which Arlington is.